Uh, this is gonna get me demonetized for sure. Welcome back to New <laughs> Sakura Wars! It is time to move on to the next chapter, which means it's time to switch to another DLC costume! Ooh, I know what we're doing today. Yeah, you know what we're doing today. Uh, well, Kamiya's getting the masked gentleman. This is his, uh, th his uh, theater outfit, so he gets a mask too. Sakura Mami is getting the swimsuit. <laughs> Hatsuho Shinonome is getting the swimsuit. Yes. Sami Mochizuki is getting the swimsuit. Yes. Anastasia Palma is getting a swimsuit. Yes. And Clarissa is, of course, getting the swimsuit. Finally, and the I knew. The music we're using is swimsuit. I mean, classic Tokyo B. Classic Tokyo swimsuit. Yeah. yeah! So welcome to the swimsuit edition of New Soccer Wars with UDJ and the Niskel. Hooray! I knew we were eventually going to hit a swimsuit subplot. <laughs> well, how bad can it be? Let's find out. It's Anastasia's chapter. How could it be bad? Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Excuse me, ma'am. You're you're <laughs> supposed to be wearing actual clothing in this uh, coffee shop here. We have a dress code. Will you please leave? <laughs> and you see all the male customers are going. Sh 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 shut the fuck up. It's fine. Like she's wearing a ripped up T-shirt as a full body suit. Come on. <sighs> the cost of fame is. So great on my soul. Oh god, was she in her like own inner monologue there for a second? <laughs> oh no! She's turned into a streaker! <laughs> it's it's a it's I mean, snowing! <laughs> it's, it's like mid-December! God, it was 70 degrees, not Three minutes ago, what state am I in? What country has snow the same day as, as summer weather? All right, everybody, we're going to the finals because we're awesome. I mean, soccer is, you know, no, I'm awesome. All right, ladies, it's time for our synchronized swimming show. I hope you've all brought your A game and your best swimsuit. Wait, did Hatsuho actually change? Oh, yeah, yeah she did. Okay. Sorry, I just don't see many swimsuits with zippers. Save for Anastasia's, uh, I kind of like everybody else's uh, swimsuit. Maybe not Sakura's, because, you know, get out of here with that I shit. No, it's cute. Oh, yeah, why don't you go put on a parka and some sweats? <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to participate in the synchronized swimming show. No, no, you, you, you've you had too much privilege and too much going your way. It's time for you to let everybody else do something for a change. Aw, Claris is pretty cute, too. I love this Max gentleman and his army of swimsuit hoes. <laughs> Let's do a show! C calm down, it's just Christmas, dude. Do not disrespect the power of Christmas! Expect her to have water wings. <laughs> yeah, please go all out with the funny. <laughs> like, I want to see Sakura with an inner tube. I, I like the water wings idea. Maybe a snorkel on, uh, on Claris. Anastasia, you get a uh, you, get, you, you get a scuba diving gear. I'd be okay with that. That sounds funny. Well, I hope we'll actually get to see the show. That'd be nice. Instead of, the, instead of them just, like, alluding to it, saying, Oh, what a wonderful show it was for Christmas! It was so great! The way that they acted, it took it took my breath away! And the themes, they were so very thematic! See, I still wish the, the uh, costumes would show up during the cutscenes. That way, if we do see that fabled Christmas show, it's just a bunch of swimsuit maidens just talking about how cold it is. You got a lot of hooting and wolf whistles in the crowd. Yeah, woo! Woo! Christmas! I love Christmas! And then Sakura Wars 7 turns into Coyote Ugly. 
Which I think I would take. <laughs> got a bunch of guys in the audience going full wolf from Looney Tunes kind of thing. Actually, that, that would be an interesting plot point to take, or an interesting road to take for that. You know, you go to this combat review, but it turns out it's 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 sleazy, and hey, we gotta do what pays the bills and all that. But the captain, who knows of the, of the combat reviews of old, saying, No, come on, guys, we have to show more elegance. We gotta really, you know, put, you know, pick ourselves up. We can make this place great, and we can be even better. And it'll take some convincing, but they can go through an entire arc just to get there. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be great. Goes into Samire's office and is like, How do I clean up these hookers? They're not that we need to have them be proper ladies. Watch this pretty woman like seven times in one night. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm actually thinking, it, you know, how uh, Sajita, you know, turned like all strict businesswoman af after having her uh, biker episode? Yeah. I, I think we can have something like that. Like, they all start out rough around the edges, and then we turn them into, like, you know, amazing business women who are, like, on top of the world. You know, uh, varying members of society, and, you know, they're all prim and proper. I think that would be an interesting plot device. I would say at least help them grow, and we grow along with them. You know, we, uh, re we realistically, uh, you know... We start getting realistic about our expectations for the for the show, and you know, maybe it's time to move on and not cling, cling to the past so much. And so we embrace the future. They embrace their better selves and all that. But you know, yeah. Instead, we have Anastasia passing the lead role of the Christmas play to Sakura. You've got to be fucking kidding me! I was distracting myself from the plot for that. It happened, and I wanted to finish my thoughts, but here we are. <laughs> Is that okay with me? No. Like, are you okay with that? Are you okay with this? I mean, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, why is she passing the role? Like, the only reason I can think that she would pass on the role is if this show was that shit. Because her encounter with Yaksha changed her. It sh it shifted her character. Going through that metamorphosis in the last chapter where she was sad and hated everything and wouldn't listen to reason of any kind and questioned everything, that changed you. And that suddenly makes you a magically a great actress. Good enough to carry this crucial play that could make or break our theater. You know, as long as they keep the flip-flops, I think I'm okay with this show. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Then Anastasia's still wearing sandals. Come on, girl, loosen up a bit. You're wearing basically nothing. Might as well chill on everything else. I don't need the feed fans to come in here. Oh! Uh, urgent requests. We got them out. Okay, cool. <laughs> you get a text from Anastasia. I'm not gonna end up on Wiki feed, am I? Don't oh, shit. Oh. I didn't mean to go back in here. Yeah, don't. Please head to Sumire's office. Don't make me ask you again. Wait, does Sumire ever get a different? No, she doesn't. Oh, kind of a missed opportunity. Me, Kamiyama. Excuse me, boss. I brought you a swimsuit so you match with all the other girls. What do you think? Do we gotta go do more PR stuff? Oh my god. Okay. We gotta be the elephant? We gotta be the elephant. Oh, come on. We're a masked theater man. We, we don't have to do this. I'm a gentleman. Look at me. We need to advertise the Christmas show. Because, once again, our job at the theater is butts and seats. Hey, wait, how did we pay a... the... <laughs> How did we pay this month's rent? Uh... We just did. Okay. I don't know, maybe we inherited riches for when we kicked Arthur's ass. I don't think they really wrote this. They didn't plan it very well. Hey, do you guys see the supernova happening outside our window? It's pretty crazy, right? It's snowing. We're snowed in. 
Oh my god. This is the game trying to be funny again. Ragey and Cowder are in a heated discussion about something he needs. Just give what? me an answer. Mistletoe or no? Go for it, dude. Wouldn't it be, like, normal to just, like, I don't know, ask him what he's doing? Oh, you didn't say anything. No, nah, I'm not gonna bother. Because I know exactly where this is going. See, I'm the type of asshole who would yell get some in the background. So she's gonna put additional funds into the Mugen for reparations like... So, we have to go and beg for funds to repair the the Mugen with? So, I don't get what they're trying to accomplish with the money. It's like, you know, were we, like, squarely in the red and now we're really, really in debt? Or are we into... Is there debt? D do we, do, are we back in the black now because of our great shows? Is, is all the re repair costs undoing that? How much does it, does it cost to repair the Mugen? Like, you know, a couple thousand, a couple hundred thousand, a couple million? Maybe we're just how much money? How much money? How, like, how, how far are we in the red? How far are we in the black? How much money do we have? Are we, are we, do we have, like, enough money to last another week? Are we relying on this Christmas show? Otherwise, we're sunk? I don't know. They just don't tell us. They don't do tell me anything. Do you think Kamiyama has a bookie? And he's constantly, like, betting against the other teams to make a whole heck ton of money? Probably. <laughs> like, like I can see him and Arthur getting drunk one night and be like, Hey, Arthur, I had this crazy idea. What's that, man? Uh, okay, H hear me uh, out on this, and all right. d don't respond until I tell you the entire thing. Okay, okay. So I was thinking, uh -huh. if... If... Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, you got it. What? So, <laughs> yeah. So, sorry, I just making myself laugh. So... <laughs> If we were to set up bets, like, uh, just literally going over to the train station and setting up a betting ring and show that my combat review has no fucking chance to beat yours, <laughs> and then we make a, everyone bets, like, against us, and then we win and everybody loses that money, but we get to keep it because I'll bet that we're going to win. Dude, 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 I got a better idea. What if I take a dive? Oh, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I, I, okay. Since right. you suggested it, 50-50. It's time for a hockey shoe scene. Why isn't she in a swimsuit? I know, right? Missed opportunity. Now she just looks like she's my acting partner with this current getup. <laughs> Once again, we're talking about Sakura, always. She's the headliner for the next show, and she's freaking out about it. Do you think having the sword out is kind of like an intimidation tactic so nobody talks to her? I just think it's open to get stolen. She seems very chill about everything that's been happening. Wouldn't it make more sense to have the sword in front of her so that way she could see it at all times? You know, one eye open and all that? It's also possible that she's glued to this chair and can't figure out how to leave. Wait. So, if I stop learning things, then I get older? Yeah, go back to school and stay young forever. Apparently, because I always assumed I was learning something new every day, therefore, I am ageless.
Oh, and yeah, she likes Oma Rice. That's a thing she likes, I guess. <laughs> Cue the next scene where she throws away the spoon and goes face first into the Oma Rice. I was gonna say she just picks up the plate on one end and then tips it up, tips it back, unhinges her jaw, and just plops the whole thing in. <laughs> Kamiyama's look of fear. <gasps> Jesus, Akashu. <laughs> When it comes to Omu Rice, she's like a she's like a monster out of the Cthulhu mythos. Pretty easy pun that time. This Omu Rice is Omu Nice. Omu yeah, that, Nice. That, tra that translates pretty easily. Wow, another one of your shows. That's so great. I feel like with this outfit on. I'm either getting tuxedo mask vibes, obviously Phantom of the Opera vibes, but I'm just thinking, it's like, if she wants to see my bromites from now on, I feel like the only way to show them to her is if I, like, throw them like shurikens at her. You know what like, vibes I'm getting? I'm getting Rhythm Thief vibes. I wish people played Rhythm Thief. <laughs> it was so much better than Dr. Latrec. God, I know. <laughs> In terms, oh, of, shit. in terms of 3DS latent clones or ripoffs or adjacent type games, Rhythm Thief wins overall. And that was also Sega. I think they got something going here. Show me the bromides, bromide. Duh. I hate this part. Well, that's why we're doing it. Show so, uh, me the bros. First, first let's get, the, get get those mides, you know? Getting them mides, yeah! Anastasia's chapter, so we'll go ahead and get hers. I don't think Sakura's and Hatsuho's are updating anymore. Which means I think we've gotten all those. Good. Alright, there's Scream of Terror. Fuck him up! Fight! 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 So I know that the stars of the show are the combat review and all that, and I'm nobody, but it, I wish I got a little bit more credit than this. Mm -hmm. Kamiyama's a blither... A fucking blithering, stupid, blistering mm -hmm. idiot. So, a couple of fans. Cool, nice to see that people really care about our show. Yes. This this is great. People really appreciate what we what we do for them, and this makes it all worthwhile. That, uh, what? Oh, uh. Oh, good. I love it when this happens in anime. Misunderstandings are pure comedy gold. Misunderstandings, and you can try and explain them away. You can just make it worse with stupid shit. But uh, hey, excuse me, uh, I just I just work here. Never mind. I will leave you ladies alone. Bam! Problem solved. But now, oh god, I'm causing a scene. What should I do? Okay, so the game wants me to make a distraction so I can make a run for it, right? Okay, cool. So hey, look over there. It's uh, let's see. Some, yeah, yeah. Sakura. She she came out again. There she is. Oh my god. And then they go. Oh where? Huh? Oh please tell me he doesn't go anywhere. He forgets the running part of this running away. He just tactic. stays right there. He fucking did. Why did what we do that? What is wrong with you, you moron? Why did we do that then? But no, it turns out there's somebody actually behind him. It's Sumire! Oh. Are they fans of hers too? Oh. You're a miserable clod, Kamiyama! <laughs> I just thought they were, uh, they didn't like your outfit. I mean, it's kind of mysterious. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Death in one shot.
And with that, Sumire invents lesbianism. Hmm, so what should I do with all these female corpses? Don't cause a scene, so the correct way is to cause an even bigger scene. Alrighty. What else is going to happen today? Who knows? Okay. Oh, again? Hey, Kamachi! I got an idea. It's star bracelets. They're just just bracelets. You put them on and you feel cool because, yeah. Alright. Great. Yeah. And you feel like a star, baby. A star. We never get to see these. We never get to see how much money they make. We don't even know what they look like. We just know that we did them and they're there and all is well. I think a fun idea would be if Komachi is actually making these products to sell, I honestly wish we could buy them and use them as, like, special accessories. Yeah, you know, equip them on on some of the on some of the review members, you know? Yeah. I mean, that that would mean an extra line of code for equipment. Oh, Lancelot's bromide, thanks. Hooray! Is there any bromide of her where she doesn't look like she wants to murder you? I think that's... I think she's got resting murderer's face. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's my R-M-F? R-M-F? Well, let's get that, uh, peanut relations out of the way. <laughs> See, you know, PR. <laughs> well, Ah, yeah. uh, no. No. Oh, God. This suit hasn't been washed in a few weeks. I'd say it's, uh, <laughs> pretty rank. <laughs> 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 Just imagine if we had a lot of butts in seats, you know, we were selling out shows every night. That would be preposterous revenue. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that there will be a sellout? Oh, well, you don't need to tell me the answer, because that question was purely rhetorical. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine if I haven't been able to eat in a few days and all of a sudden a feast is granted ahead of me and it's just it just feels great to finally be able to eat. It's I'm pleasantly ravenous. <laughs> oh man, we went back in time. We went to Soccer Wars 5. We found the 11-year-old. You know what? A good move would be to protect Rika. Well, soccer is here. This could get potentially ridiculous. Soccer, kick the kid. Ooh, I think she just went cross-eyed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sakura, I can't get out. Help me. You see, the problem with having one character get the spotlight and having characters that don't have much depth is that we start repeating ourselves. It's like, I'm going to believe in myself, even though I'm, I don't think I could do it, but I'm going to believe anyway because that's what I'm supposed to do. But I'm going to... Help me. I can't escape. It's so cold. You should quit, you'll never be good enough. <laughs> Peanut is like the magic eight ball for the combat review. Peanut, what you should, I, should I pursue my dreams? No, give up! Well, any chance of her uh, getting out of this funk are probably ruined. Bwoot. Think of those horns or what's coming out of Peanut's trunk. Do not be afraid, child. 
I am Peanut, the mascot of the Combat Review. Boot. Boot. Wow, this whole game is piss or shit. <laughs> I haven't eaten in days. Please, send help. Tell Samire I need someone to relieve me of duty. Well, the game still thinks that now we have to go check on her to advance the story. I'm sorry, isn't this Anastasia's chapter? Wait, are you serious? The game wants us to go back and check on Sakura to see how she's doing, dealing with this new responsibility of taking the re taking the lead role. Oh no. Uh, great. Well, I got some stuff in the theater, but let's take care of everything outside the theater first. Okay. Starting with Tokyo Central Station. This is the only indication you can tell it's winter. Because these cool colors in this great transition. I thought it was because they appear white. I got a bromide here. Oh, good. Who's this? It's kind of Kitty Shima. Oh. Tall lady, damn. Cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind tall lady. She'd be, she'd be cool. I like tall ladies. Because I would look at them and go, yeah, because hey, you finally, could, a worthy adversary. You could see them eye to eye. <laughs> oh, Raid, come on! No! Ugh. Okay, well, that debunks my Raid theory. This fight brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Let's get him, Hatsuho. I feel like this is nothing but I... I do nothing but this. It's just perpetual raids. But at least this raid is happening during Christmas? Oh, and right in front of the theater, too. Look at all the people that vanished. It's it's just the same block of land for all the raids. This, this... Teaser oh, wait, it is? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice. The illusion's broken. I think this is just a chance to get more affection with your top girl for now. Or, like, hey, whatever girl they choose. I'm okay with that, because Hatsuho is the one I want to be with at the end. Yeah, she, she's uh, still a leader. Even though she is just a sock puppet for Sakura's praise. If Sakura ends up being an elder god, I know I keep bringing some of these topics up, but her being the villain would probably be one of the greatest bait and switch I've ever seen. Because <sighs> no wonder the plot's about her. She's the villain, and you have to destroy what you accidentally created. It made me think of the ending, and I got sad. Okay, my apologies. I did not mean to, to make you sad this Christmas. It's the season of miracles, man. Buck up. We're getting closer to Hatsuho. Can't you tell? I can tell because she gets embarrassed because we compliment her? Because the characters don't further, we're just again repeating the same stuff. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna support me. I'm gonna support you because I believe in you. You, you wow, you believing in me makes me really feel like I can do it. Oh my gosh, Baka, how could you? Like again, I'm I'm in my thirties. I want like a bit, a little bit more dramatic storylines. You know, Some, something that has a bit more meaning. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a fool for wanting that from Sakura Wars, but... You watched Clannad, right? Yes, I loved Clannad. And After Story? I loved After Story more. Okay. I'm glad, because, uh... That, that was a... I watched that around the time where I was actually, you know, that age. Specifically After Story. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh my. 
This is what I have to look forward to, do I? Clannad After Story was a cut above. There's still a part that gets me every single time. That's because it's so heartfelt. There's like about five moments in there that I'm like, Jesus. Earlier you had my back, and now I feel like I can do it because you had me, and I like it when you said you had my back, and I really like that we're... we're I've got your back, you lemming. Yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good, good for us. We did. Oh, right. that was a lot of points. That's maxed out, so it doesn't really mean much. Oh, that's right. They don't go any further upward. Anyway, now we've had Aww. that five-minute distraction. Oh. Aha! Hello there. It's Jiminy <gasps> again! Hey! Ah! Yay! Anyway, back to the grindstone. We don't even have any special moments with these characters. Like, we don't ever go out and do stuff or, you know, hey, you ever see that? No, it's always just... It's the see, same shit all the time. That time mechanic in Soccer Wars 5... Looking back, I kind of really enjoy it, even though I don't get to spend, you know, every special moment with all the characters. It was still interesting to be like, okay, you're going to have to spend your time wisely with whomever you want to advance their side of the story. Here, it's, it's pretty clear you can maximize the rank of all of your teammates by the end of Chapter 6. So there's no need to worry. I guess. Maybe they wanted to make it easier for newcomers? Maybe? You know that mentality I've never understood? Why would you make a game overly easy for newcomers? New then newcomers won't have a good challenge, and then they'll be put off by it. I think the best way to appeal to that is with Fire Emblem Awakening where they had a new casual mode where permadeath was taken out, so every casual loser like me could pop in and start for the first time. And yet you still had the hardcore modes for the people who have been playing Fire Emblem since 1980-whatever. I guess my... My thought is, you know, good thing that games have different difficulty settings, because uh, I actually hear plenty of people saying that Persona 5 is the easiest of all of them. And yet, you can still die very easily. I thought it was perfectly balanced. As all things should be. Yes. I mean, Royal I could, just, I could just, I mean, I could just snap my fingers and take about half of the things I hate about Persona, and there we go. <laughs> Royal had a couple things, a couple uh, tweaks to the difficulty that I greatly enjoyed. But it is very beginner-friendly, especially if you're new to... Everything, Shin Megami Tensai. I find it hard to go back now. It Playing, is. Pl you know, the dynamic nature of Persona 5 to trying to go back to Persona 4 Golden, it's just, just... Not quite. You tell me to go back to Persona 3, no fucking way. Portable is one of those ones that needs an update. Like, I really enjoyed Portable, but it didn't have all the fancy flair that FES had. It was all menu-based. I think that turned me off. It was all menu-based, no cutscenes. It was just static images for moving around. Yeah. But it was more functional than FES, if that tells you anything. <laughs> a bunch of oh, quality-of-life yeah, fixes. Yeah. We don't need a Nocturne remaster. We need a Persona 3 remaster. <laughs> ha! That we Nocturne remaster. We definitely don't need a Nocturne remaster. That ah! Nocturne remaster. I... First of all, I immediately thought of you and how much hair you were pulling out. Oh, thank just, you. It was just hilarious. And didn't that happen shortly after you finished Nocturne? It was... I, I think not even a year after I finished it. That oh goody, I can jump back into it. Hooray. I still love that I lost a bet to basically force you to finish Nocturne. It worked. 
<laughs> All for the greater good. For the greater good. Time for another uh, side quest with the uh, Shanghai fellas. Okay. Let's see how good my memory is, aka trash. So, go take some orders, relay them back to him. My mind is prepped and ready to go. All right. Here goes. Oh, it's just a zombie. <gasps> oh. Hey, a zombie. I'm fraternizing with the enemy. How about you? <laughs> I'm, rubbing my, I'm rubbing their faces in their failure. Like, you know, I'd come in and it's like, hey guys, wow, I gotta tell you, it is great being part of the combat review, and you know what? It's really great winning rounds in the combat review games. I mean, <laughs> I've got two under my... How many did you guys get? Oh, you didn't get any? Wow. wow. First round elimination? Yeah, that's got to that's be really embarrassing, don't you think? Wow. Anyway, so, a zombie's taking orders for the theater. We, we need Kazaki and Kato's orders, bomb ramen, and the sweet and sour pork deal. Next, sakura is golden fried rice, and Clarice wants Ginza Bao. And we need dragon fried rice and fried jazzy for Hatsuho, and Hatsuho says she's starving, so she needs to go first. And Anastasia's order comes before Claire's, she wants extra hot mapu tofu. And then Komachi and Shiba both want garlic chive manju, they're okay with waiting, so they can wait. And they'll carry each each person's back separately. Don't get the order of the orders wrong. You got oh, it? Oh, good lord. Got it? Let's go. Hatsuho's first. Then... Got, got it? Good, let's go. Oh, okay. So, Hatsuho, Anastasia, Claris, and then essentially everything else, right? All right, what do they want, though? Fuck! Uh... You're ready for the order. Here we go. All right, I'll try. Um... So, first order. Who's next? Okay. That was Hatsuho. That was Sumire and Kaoru. Wait, what? Who's after the first order? Oh, uh, right. All right, so. Oh, God. Azumi's putting in her own order. Two peach manju. She doesn't mind getting her food last. So what was the fourth order? The fourth order? It was extra hot mapu tofu. Mapo tofu. Now what's the last order? The last one? Peach Manju. Well, that's just confusing. There you go. Uh, okay. Ugh. You're a ninja. That just reminds me of the old puzzle. It's like, hey, a, a farmer has 12 sheep and all but one die. How many sheep does the farmer have left? Blah, 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 cook, 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 yeah. I'm back from my slip and slide. Everyone loves you. You're a delicious food, you disgusting monster. I wish we could have seen that maid, but that would be a few more polygons. We've only had the fried rice animation, that's it. Where did she put the manju? In her sleeves, obviously. <laughs> Kamiyama's had enough of it and starts picking, picking up a zombie and shaking her and just mountains of weapons fall out of the sleeves. And then the manju. On top, just... You got axes, you got flails, ball and chains, it just all falls out. So what about Kamiyama's food? That's a good question. Okay, bye. I am glad I have such great friends. I am glad I will do anything for them, even though they forget <sighs> all about me and everything that they do. Get I dunked have, on, I... Kamiyama.
Oh, now it's like you guys have no chance because you suck. Now it's like, wow, you could win the finals. Fun turnaround there, huh? And here's a oh, promo item, yeah. Oh, my God. Can't even see that, Rice. And now it's time for the finals. Thanks for the help. Next time I tell you, I get some peach matcha for you. Okay, great. Why didn't you get some now? I uh, guess I'll starve because of my ungrateful friends. Next place I need to go is uh, Ginza Odoi. I can see Kamiyama walking back, open the door of the theater, and just clutching his stomach like, I'm so... Hungry. God. So here is one of the only chances we have to get Margareth on our side and make her appear on the stage. So they're out here shouting out their uh, Berlin th uh, theme song, I guess. Berlin, Berlin, we're going to take the world in and make us... STRONGER TO BEAT THE OTHER COMBAT REVIEWS! Now, is this East Berlin or West Berlin? Or did the Iron Curtain not exist in this timeline? Mm, let's just say, for the sake of brevity, no Iron Curtain. So, alright, here we go. <clears throat> alright, get your pipes ready. It's time to sing. Better stand up! Arms right back. Water. Here we go. Huh? A soldier's true strength comes from... <gasps> Resolve! Precisely! Next verse! Sound oh, off! Actually... The most powerful weapon I have <laughs> is... My brain! Margareth! <laughs> the right answer? Yes. How? Because we got her to admit that she is a strong and beloved ally of Elisa's. Oh my gosh. And that, and that made the stony little imp go aw inside. <laughs> you got 1% towards my friendship. 99 more percent to go. I'll take it! By their desire to kill everyone in their path. Yeah, we're getting to... Peace! Yeah, p yeah, peace. That has not been what Germany was about in the 40s, I don't think. Well, it also doesn't mesh with the personalities that are given to us. Lancelot wants to kill bitches. T okay! Sounds good. You seem like better friends than my actual friends. You go. You won't forget my food. We'll see you at the World Games. Yeah. Bring it on. Oh shoot! Is that it? Yep, that's it. Spent so much time here, we haven't even checked on Sakura yet, and I can only deal with that lady so, you know, for so long. Oh, and, uh, Reiji is now in Koi Koi Wars. Well, I beat that guy weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, come <laughs> on. Oh, there's a bromide. Oh. Oh, Kamiyama has oh. another bromide. Okay. Well, with that, we'll, uh... Stop things here for now, and next time on Sakura Wars, I guess we're gonna deal with Sakura some more. Maybe talk about that obsessive, man. I don't know. This is just a podcast series at this point. See you next time. <laughs>